Congress at noon, the clock is winding down in campaign 2010. There are just a few days left before Rhode Islanders head to the polls to elect a new governor. Tonight, Eyewitness News will release an exclusive new poll. We're taking the pulse of Rhode Island voters to show where the four main gubernatorial candidates stand in these final days. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly caught up with them this morning. He joins us live now from East Providence and the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the latest. Sean. Yes, Patrick and Elizabeth, with five days to go before the election, the four leading candidates for governor are still sniping away at each other. We spoke with all four of them this morning. To all uh, four candidates, what, someone's emerging from this room on Tuesday. They will be elected the next governor. They've become a traveling road show. Independent Lincoln Chafee, Republican John Robitaille, Democrat Frank Caprio, and moderate Ken Block. All together once again this morning, this time on the John DePietro Show on WPRO Radio. Afterwards, they spoke with Eyewitness News as the countdown to Election Day kicks in. Whether it's the intermodal connector, the Quonset Roads, uh, moving 195, that's a billion dollars. And I played a leading role in getting that billion dollars to Rhode Island as a member of the Senate Far uh, Environment Public Works Committee. So I was there helping get that money. Now I want to be the leader to maximize the potential to bring in jobs to play off to uh, the investment, that billion dollar investment we've made, and I know we can do that. Caprio and Chafee are career politicians. They got us into this mess. They can't fix it. They don't know how. Uh, you know, I am not a career politician. I'm a leader. I know that we have to make tough choices, and I know I've made tough choices throughout my entire life, and the people are seeing that. I am not going to play these silly campaign games. I would never, never tell the President of the United States to shove it. Rhode Island small businesses and Rhode Island families, they're in a tough spot right now. And I've been listening to them, and I'm going to get up to that state house. I'm going to fight every day for the people across the state to hold on to their jobs, to bring in jobs to the state. That's what this campaign's really all about. Moderate Ken Block had to rush out to a campaign event afterwards, but we spoke by telephone, and he told me he's still in high gear because he believes voters are still trying to make up their minds. Live with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.